Hello everyone, welcome to the Movie Burrito Podcast. I'm Mac. And I'm Rami. Welcome, this is episode four, and uh, we're still going strong. (laughs) Watch out everybody, the burrito train is coming your way. (laughs) It's way too cringe. Watch watch out, the choo-choo is coming straight to you, you. Yeah, let's not do that one again. <laughs> let's not do that one again. This Why? It's that good. One, that one was not good at all. We're going to take you down. We're going to take you down to Funky Town. How does that sound? That's a song. No. Yeah, it it's is. actually from a, a, a show that I love watching. It's called um, In the In the Loop. No, In the Loop is the movie, which is based on the show, British TV show. It's about, you should actually watch it. It's oh. a political satire. It's called the... Uh, I forgot the I forgot the show, but In the Loop is a, is a really good movie. You know, you know. Yeah. Let me take you to Funky Town. It's a song. Uh, let me take you to oh, Funky I I've Town. Heard I think I've heard it's it. It's a song. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. How you been? How's your week been? Oh, it's pretty hectic. It's pretty hectic. What'd you get? What'd you have? Uh, lots of shooting, lots of family stuff. I've mm-hmm. seen the shoots. I've seen uh, you guys did a Macron, macro, a yeah. macaroon one. Yeah, how do you like that one? I like that one. Hmm. Listen, anything you're going to say about macaroon, the, yeah. the gronk, the, 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 the dog, the, the scum of the earth, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm down for whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, you yeah. guys also did the We, we actually pulled that video off in one day, which is very, very, um, very efficient. What would you do? We, that video, that macaron one. We did it in one entire day. So yeah, from yeah. shooting, scripting to shooting to, to We've done, edit. It's been done before. We've done something like that before. We have, but not at that level. Yeah, but that one's actually very good. Mm. That one yeah. was actually very good. Yeah. Um, the Khabib one, shout Khabib out to one. Khabib yeah. for that retiring. That was one in the same day as well. That was amazing. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Khabib for retiring at 29 and 0. Oh, yes. My legend, my favorite fighter of this generation. I don't think we'll ever see a fighter of this of this caliber in this generation. Uh, you know, we had Muhammad Ali, mm-hmm. um, we have Khabib, and I don't think there's going to be... Probably be the best pound-for-pound pound fighter in the in world. In MMA? No, in MMA, yes. In MMA. In MMA, 100%. 100%. John Jones, uh, for those who know who John Jones is, uh, John Jones has um, caused a bit of a stir because he thinks that he is the number one because he's, uh, he's held 15 world titles, but... You know, PED does help a lot in, in holding those 15 world titles. So if you're taking drugs, I don't think you can claim pound for pound number one, if that makes sense. Because, uh, do you think he's worth it? No, no, he's taking drugs to, to, to in competing. Oh, PEDs. So, so he's cheated, literally. Yeah, he's cheated. Okay, they've, they've caught him a few times. They've stripped the title off him. Oh. Khabib's done it all by, you know, no no strip titles, yeah. no drugs, yeah. nothing involved. Yeah, and and he quit at the top of his game with a broken leg. He won with a broken leg, yeah. quit at the top of his game, all because his mother. Requested. You know, that's that's you know, it's not every day we get to see someone who is literally who's, who's, one of the best fighters like in the world. Probably thirty something. I don't know how old Khabib is at the yeah, moment. Thirty two. Thirty two. He's thirty two years old, and he tells his mum tells him to stop, to to stop doing something, and, he and he's gonna stop. It. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Like you, go, you go, you go down the street, and you see a, a mother to her son who's forty years old. Yeah. Hey, don't do that. He's gonna be like, "What are you on about, bro? Yeah, yeah, I'm forty yeah. years old. I know what I'm doing." Yeah. The you know the, the right? Dagestanian uh, people respect their old art yeah. far more than any other. I think I think when you grow up in culture people. that that has values, mm. you know, and customs, mm. that, traditions, traditions, yeah, which other people might find conservative, but like what's What's cons- what's conservative about them? Like, what, what's conservative about living a mm. humble, you know, mm. uh, uh, a modest lifestyle? Yeah, I don't think there's anything yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. No, so I think he's. I think I think because of his customs, his traditions, who he is, his religion mm. as well. Mm. I think that all plays a part in how he is mm. uh, as a fighter, as a human, and the way he reacts to his parents, which I really love. Um, mm. Have you been watching any movies lately? You seen anything? How was your week? My week. Mm. Been busy just uni, man. Uni, eh? Just uni. Uh, I, after Khabib's fight, I uploaded on my Twitter, the Movie Burrito Podcast, you can find it there. 
Uh, not movie burrito, so um, the real water boy mm. blog. You can find that on Twitter. Nice. Um, I uploaded a piece on Khabib, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. just talking about mm-hmm. how he's the uh, the Khabib train was a uh, hype. Was it real or not? And you know, just just talking about a bit of his fights and stuff like that. Mm. So if you guys want to read it, it's, it's there to be. Read. I'll, I'll take a look at it. I want to read it. It's on Medium, the, the website Medium. Mm-hmm. If you guys are. Anyway, um, yeah, that's about it, but mm. just uni. That's all I've been mm-hmm. doing. And did you submit your assignments and all that? I've submitted the two of them. I've got two due on Monday, next Monday. Mm. So I'm halfway through the first one. Hopefully finish that one by tomorrow because I've got two 750-word essays uh, mm. for the same unit. So mm. let's hope we get that done. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I, I can't wait to see the day that you finish. Oh, I can't wait as well. Mm. So I can just sleep in. <laughs> and not work <laughs> exactly what, what, do you, what do you think I'm getting a degree for true true how's you've been watching any movies lately anything because I've been so busy again every, I know every week I say the same thing but it's a part of growing up yeah I guess Adulting. I've only seen uh, Enola Holmes I saw actually I tried watching The Exorcist 3 um, yeah, Exorcist 3 the, the Exorcist 3 how many movies did they make of The Exorcist I think they made from the original original series, mm-hmm. I think there's three. How many times can you exercise the same person? No, not the same person. Oh, it's a different yeah, story. it's a different one. This one is more are like... All, are they all based on real life? Nah, not even the first one's based on real life. I thought it was based it, on... It, look, they say it is, but it's just a load of... Mm. Something, yeah, something happened with a young girl. Let's take this one thing and like exhaust every possibility of terrifying things. I mean, it's r- r- written by a novelist, William uh, Peter, Bal- Peter a novelist? Bla- Blatty or whatever. Yeah. You said novelist. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. William Peter Blatty. Mm. I think that's his name, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, the third movie, uh, j- just the first half an hour that I watch. I know I keep on watching this half an hour first thing, but I, I have no time. I have no time to complete I like, I like how you watch it in blocks. Yeah, yeah. It's no good. That a lot of movie pur- purists will, will call me a fraud, but... I don't care. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? The first half an hour t- it was tremendous. It was actually really good, re- really well cut. The, uh, some really gruesome kills. Mm-hmm. Um, in, it's really not about Exorcist. They should have not called it The Exorcist. Actually, the, the director didn't want to call it The Exorcist. He just wanted to call it Legion because it's called Exorcist 3 Legion um, because he wanted to disassociate exorcism from the movie. He just wanted to write um, a movie about uh, a character slowly losing faith in the world because of murders that cannot be explained. Mm. So that's what it was. Mm. And so the Gemini killer uh, kills people in the most like gruesome, the, descriptive is the, kills. Is that the killer in the movie? Or? Yes. Okay. It's called the Gemini killer. Um, and so what he does, the movie does this really interesting thing where it's... Sh- it, tells you how these people were killed mm. like this young black boy was decapitated um, and his head was put in place of Jesus on the cross mm. um, and there was a f- father, a priest who was he's a really, he was actually a secondary character, he's close to the main character he was I think beheaded as well I'm not sure, he was killed and all the blood was supernaturally placed in a, um, like a dozen jars. All his blood is sucked out of his body without one drop of blood on the floor. Sounds too gruesome. Well, yeah, but the movie does this thing where it's like it doesn't show you anything. Like it doesn't show you the head's decapitated, the, the boy's decapitated head. doesn't show you the father. It's basically a bunch of shots of the detective pulling up the sheets of the crime, looking at it and giving his reaction and then slowly losing his faith even more. Oh. And it's got this really um, eerie feel to it. But yeah, that's it. It's Without really dwelling too much time on mm. it. But yeah, it's a, I plan to check it out. I love watching horror movies in the night by myself. Yeah. I actually watched The First Exorcist by myself and it was great. I think great. you need to go see a psychologist, honestly. Ah. It's a bit, it's a bit uh, scary. Just, just exercising my right to do uh, weird stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, what have you been watching? Me? No, I've just been watching TV shows. I haven't seen a movie mm. in a while. You're still watching that, um, what TV show was it? The, the, I forgot what it was. You Last time you mentioned uh, 
But a TV show more that I watch. I'm watching New Girl. Are you talking about New Girl? No, no, New Girl. If I, you, you go through TV shows like it's crazy. No, New Girl is a, is a comedy series. Oh, anime. Are you talking about an anime? No, it's not. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, um, I was supposed to go see um, Akira. It's an old anime movie. Um, they remastered it in 4K nice. uh, at the cinemas. But um, my friend had pulled out last minute because he was at his mother-in-law's house. Ah, uh, uh, in-laws. The Just bane of our it. existence. <laughs> I mean, as an unmarried man, I know exactly why he's talking uh, about uh, Exactly. When he told me uh, in, his in-laws, I was like, bro, say no more, man. I got you, man. Yeah. It's all good. We can replan. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's bad. I was watching this. Actually, I have to tell you about this anime. It was so weird. Yeah. It was so weird. So yep. this anime is called Banana Fish. It's on Amazon. Um, and it sold itself as a... As a, like a gangster type shonen anime, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, it said it's about a 17 year, old, 17 year old boy who runs a street gang. What it failed to say was there was a lot of um, uh, homosexual things going on, which I was not ready for, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> like the first, so the first scene, so the first uh, episode mm. is not bad. Like you get to see gangster stuff. I was like, oh, that's cool. Second episode, you find out that the kid was bought as a slave and was um, made to do tasks. And one of the tasks was uh. um, be a sort of slave for the main boss's head of security mm. he had a thing for child children and molesting them mm. and he would record it so you learn that in the third episode is that he has a thing for child pornography oh yep i feel uh, sick i feel sick exactly so the third episode the main character ends up going to prison and one character who is a bit feminine um tries to you know, do some things and he stands up for himself so people know that he's not to be messed with. Um, however, that doesn't work out because he gets uh, attacked by those three men. And the sisters from Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> okay, yep. <laughs> and, and he gets raped from the prison. Oh, no. Um, you, now, and good, the frame from Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> the thing is, is you don't see anything happen, mm. but you see like... The ramifications. Yeah, like his face is on the bathroom floor. I don't know why it's got to always happen in the bathroom. Yeah. He's laying down. Um, and then it turns mm. out that that character is also gay, which you find out at the end of the episode. Because of his what? Like his past? I don't know. I didn't. Mm. I couldn't continue watching. I was like, there's too many rape... Rape scenes. Yeah, calm down scenes, with the rape scenes. And I was like... Uh, People think that if they include rape scenes in their movies, that, 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 that makes them somewhat serious. Yeah, it wasn't. I was just like, bro, I don't know what I'm watching. I'm tripping out right now. Um, it's too much erotic things going on <laughs> I'm like bro I just came to I, look when I watch anime the only animes I watch are fighting animes oh, right? yes. if there's drama I will not watch drama animes mm. I will not watch love animes mm. I will not watch cooking animes mm. uh, like food wars sports animes I can't really watch so I just watch fighting animes mm. right so when I saw this I was like oh cool it's a, you know it's a gang fighting blah 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 yeah <laughs> not watching that no more I was like, oh, this is weird. Yeah, so yeah. I, that, that was it. I was, mm. I'm also watching New Girl, which is a old TV show. Uh, finished in 2018. Mm. Uh, it's a comedy. Is that? It's got the... I've heard of New Girl before. Yeah, it's a, it was on TV. It used to be on TV. Is that one of them, like, Big Bang Theory type shows? E no. It's like, sitcoms, um, is it's that a what they're called? Is that a uh, th There's no one in the audience laughing. There's no audience. Oh, yes. But it is, okay, so it's kind of funny. Okay. Like, you just got to have a certain, I don't know, you got to find have a certain humor for it. Uh-huh. The only reason why I find it funny is because there's one character, two characters that just say funny and stupid things all the time. And, like, the way one of them pronounces things, like he says, instead of chutney, he says, chutney. Wait, what's chutney? Ch uh, I don't know. Forgive I think, my ignorance. <laughs> I think it's, like, jam or something. Mm-hmm. Chotane. He says Chotane. <laughs> or he says Pantes. <laughs> he pronounces T's. With it, with it, with it. Like a t. Essence. 
Oh, the panties. Mm. Can I have the panties? That's why it's just like, it's just his, his uh... So very, that's, that's why you watch an entire show for two characters, eh? Honestly? <laughs> look, everyone watches The Office for one character, for two characters. Yeah. Dwight and uh, yeah. Michael. Yeah. So, yeah. I can't really, can't really blame me for it. So how'd you find the heart? So... Alright, so, so let's move on to the movie at hand. Mm-hmm. Um, you want to describe uh, so the Enola, plot as you... So we, we, I, I recommended Enola Holmes. It's a film about, um, obviously, Sherlock Holmes. It's in relation to Sherlock Holmes. So it's about his do- uh, sister, a uh, younger sister, um, who is trying to find her own way in life, I guess. Um, well, describe the the plot. So, so, so here's what happens. It's uh, okay. So, so in the beginning, we find. So no, 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 no. Oh. So, so when we say describe the plot, I mean um, uh, the sister, the young sister of Sherlock Holmes, Enola Holmes, um, um, is young and Im- ambitious. Yeah. Uh, sh- her mother goes missing one day, and she embarks on a journey to find out where she went. Yeah. Simple. <laughs> so you want me to explain the plot or? No, I'm just saying, like, uh, that's what I mean by explain the plot. Oh, okay. So, so once bad. you do that, now move into okay, the yeah. details. So, yeah, so Nola Holmes is brought up by her mother. Her father's passed away. Uh, she's, her mother's raised her to be a, mm, not to rely on anyone but herself. Independent. To be very independent, yes. Her mother leaves without uh, a trace, um, mm-hmm. only giving her, I think, like one hint. Mm. One hint throughout the movie of where she is, and she goes, she embarks on a journey to find where her mother is. Basically, um, Sherlock and her his brother, I uh, can't remember what was his name. Minecraft. Minecraft. They are brought back to one. Sherlock is brought back to find the mother, his mother. Minecraft is brought back to, I guess, raise his sister. I think. Be be his, be her ward. Her ward. So like yeah. raise her, make to make sure she's taken care of. Mm. Um, however, she's on she's on her own thing and very ambitious and goes on this massive adventure, um, looking for her mom. Mm-hmm. And a journey of uh, self discovery. It is. It's a mm. journey about self discovery. Mm. Um, not just her, about other characters in the movie. Ah, yes, the uh, the young Chukisberry uh, or something like that. The young Dukesbury, uh, Sherlock Duke- as well. What's his name himself? Sherlock. We 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 find that Sherlock find, discovers things about himself that, you know, a bit not in depth, but I would say he does. You don't think he does? I oh, will move on to me. Oh, okay. Uh, that's I don't know. Is that that's about it? That's all yeah, there is. Yeah, it's the... it's more like a a, a, a tale about a a, um, a young girl trying to discover uh, her place in a world where. Uh, it Look, doesn't take young. It doesn't take females. Females uh, seriously. seriously. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's set in what? Eighteen. I think the eighteen hundred. Yeah, eighteen ninety. Eighteen eighty. I think like eighteen hundred. I think it was revolution. actually. No, it wasn't. That, it was after the industrial. Industrial. It was in, when women were fighting for their rights to vote in England. So it was during that time. I, I would say Sherlock Holmes is built around the industrial revolution. Is it? Well, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, is, yeah. Because yeah, the Industrial actually, Revolution, if you think about it, was from like 1790 to like pretty much World War One. Uh, fair enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. 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 We can go with that, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so it's about, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll I'll move take on it away, to my, uh, my man. My, a new segment uh, we have here. Poems uh, yeah, uh, by McKin. <laughs> and now you are about to witness the most extravagant uh, love letter to Enola Holmes. David, is that you? David Attenborough. Yes, uh, uh, the planet is dying. Well, <laughs> the oh. planet is dying. Yeah, no, your voice cracked. You lost me. The, you, the planet is dying. Yeah, oh. you lost me. Queen, Queen Elizabeth, is that you? Uh, <laughs> David Attenborough. <laughs> do, you, do you want to read your your, your love letter to Noel Holmes? All right, so now we'll move on to Max Special Time, the love letter. Let's not go Special Time. We no, know special what Special Time means. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to see your special time here. Oh, no. All right. Okay. So this is a... Um, um, 
Not a love letter, actually, but we'll move on to that. Uh, Enola. Enola Holmes 2020, directed by Harry Bradby, is apparently a film about the supposed little sister Enola Holmes to the popular Sherlock Holmes. When the Holmes sibling's mother goes missing, the supposed intelligent young Enola must use her intelligence in order to find her mother, who is an equally smart and witty uh, mother. Even though her brother is the world's greatest detective. A smart girl she is. Smart and brave as she goes on her own journey of discovery and independence. I feel like this is mocking her. <laughs> no, I wouldn't dare do that. Yeah. Uh, smart and brave as she goes on her own journey of discovery and independence. She learns that in order to be happy, she must learn to make her own decisions. Even though the very journey she takes was chosen for her by her mother, but I guess it wasn't chosen by a man. So therefore, it's kind of good, I guess. Her mother is loving and caring, so much so that she responsibly sends her only daughter on a wild and dangerous journey that lands her in a situation where her life is on the line multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> mother Holmes is so loving, she simply doesn't care for her two other sons. Mother One Holmes. of them who has mummy issues, probably <laughs> because his mother didn't take care of him. Mother Holmes is so determined to change the world for women, she chooses not to convince the men around her to change their views on women, especially her powerful, politically inclined son who has mummy issues, most likely because of his loving, neglectful mother. But what do I know? I'm just a man. Going back to the young, brave Enola Holmes, who happens to know every art and science under the sun before she turns 17, she bumps into unintelligent, effeminate, and weak Chukasberry, who is on the run from his own uh, from, sorry, from his overbearing family. The reason why the script demands these characters, character traits is because a strong and intelligent independent girl cannot be those things without being contrasted with a dumb, dependent and weak boy. But what do I know? I'm just a man. But not all is trash, as Enola, with all her cheesy character traits, has some redemption, as she does feel somewhat real because of the small idiosyncrasies exhibited by the excellent Millie Bobby Brown. Even Henry Cavill was somewhat convincing as the famous Sherlock Holmes. Mycroft plays out like a cartoonish, literal, mus literal moustache-twirling, meddling older, older brother. Flip the page. Oh, it's so gone. To conclude, <laughs> Enola Holmes is a confused movie that doesn't know what it wants to be. The movie wants to tell you that Enola is independent and makes her own decisions, but doesn't want to or can't be with Chukasberry because strong and independent, I guess. It doesn't know if it's a children's movie with its playfulness, editing and breaking of the fourth wall, or if it's a mature movie with its violence and dark themes and politics. If Hollywood wants to change the world, how about they start with themselves rather than lecturing us? But what do I know? I'm just a man. Can I ask one question? End is of your, hate letter. Is your letter named I'm Just a Man? <laughs> I think it should be called I'm Just a Man. It's uh, Please Kill Me and Ola Holmes. Because <laughs> you put it in the beginning, middle and end. Yeah. I, think, I, think, I think you're trying to say something. Are you just a man? Or? Um, look, I don't speak in gender uh, uh, pronouns. So Fair I enough. choose to be... Uh, gender uh, neutral. I Fair choose enough. to be... I call myself an alien, I guess. Fair so enough. call me... Call me um, uh, that's my pronoun. I'm not doing that one. Uh, <laughs> That's my pronoun. So you didn't. So you didn't enjoy the. <laughs> did you didn't enjoy the movie. Uh, sorry, it's Mister. Mister. Even though I just ascribed the gender to my. <laughs> anyway, um, no, I did not. I thought it was uh, mediocre at best. Really? Yes. <laughs> but Millie Bobby Brown was good. <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown was great. She, you know what? She's actually a very good actress. She is very good. She's yeah. actually much more mature than. Um, yeah. Any other kid I've seen on screen. Yeah, yeah. She's very. I, I really enjoy her acting, especially in uh, Stranger Things. What What is it that, apart from the letter which we discussed, <laughs> what is it that you found that was just mediocre in the movie, or made it mediocre? I mean, the story was just like, okay. Mm. It wasn't anything new. Um, it was. Uh, 
it was just putting stuff down my throat more than half really? the time. You, find, you found that pushing, putting down your throat? I yeah. didn't find it like that. Well, because like... Uh, like obviously, it, there's obviously there's um, there's allu- like it's alluding to the fact that women are independent, free, and can do whatever they want. Yeah, I'm okay with we, that. We, whatever, we understand that. Whatever they and, want, and and like there's a lot of allusions to it, yeah. but I didn't find that it was like, oh. you know, like Wonder Woman. You watch Wonder Woman. Uh, what, like, you know what I mean? The, the thing is, like, I don't understand how Hollywood just does the same thing over and. I'll give you an example. Mm-hmm. Um, why is it that at the end of the movie, spoiler alert, whatever, who cares? Why is it that at the end of the movie, she clearly loves Chukas Berry and Chukas Berry clearly loves her? Okay, so clearly she wants something, but clearly the script, because it has an agenda, tells you that no, she cannot be with this person because she has to find herself. Well, what if... A part of finding yourself is getting to know someone that you love, but not what if, because a script demands it. But what if getting to know yourself requires you to actually be by yourself and being comfortable with yourself to begin with? Well, maybe it, maybe that's what he was trying to say. If you're talking about Enola Holmes, she mm. clearly loves him. I understand, so why but, is if it you that the but if you're not, if you're not comfortable with who you are, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying she is or she isn't. That's not. Why? Why would she be in a put herself in a position where she can't love someone because she doesn't love herself? For example, that's what I'm she saying. does love herself. Where, does, where, where did you pick up the point that she doesn't love saying, herself? I'm not saying she doesn't love mm-hmm. herself. I'm just saying, like, if someone needs to find, yeah, I'm saying if some, like, she needs to find herself. Like okay. She needs to go on her own discover of self discovery, right? You can't really do that because you're most of the time you're spending that time with someone else. You get what I'm saying? You can't find yourself with someone else? I don't think not all the time. <laughs> really? I don't know. You're actually going to take that back. Why? Because you actually thought about what you were saying. I had to. Yeah, well, I think... Because you can't blur. Look, if, if you're telling me you can't find someone else, you can't find yourself without... You, you can't if find If you don't yourself. know who you are, yeah? Yeah. If you don't know who you are. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll rephrase it. Sure. If you don't know who you are. Sure, sure. Yeah. How are you going to be your quote unquote true self mm-hmm. around someone that you like? By that person accepting who you truly are and encouraging you. But if you don't you, know who you are, you can do it with someone else. It doesn't matter. I don't know. You can do it with someone. It doesn't. I think. I think maybe also the time. The time. Uh, that it was set in plays a role in it. Honestly, I think because of where it's set. Mm-hmm. It kind of plays a role in why they can't really be together at that moment in time. Why? Because like class? Class is one. Uh, another one is the issues, the political, sorry, the political issues that are going on at the moment, at that, during that time. But he's the, he's the, the Lord who approved the bill for women to vote. So clearly he's for women. So... So therefore, he can be with her, because she's for women as well, for women's rights as well. So they are in the same category. Kind of confused. So you're saying that they can't be together because of the time. No, I'm saying maybe the time yeah. plays a role. But you need to explain why. I just explained that. Why? <laughs> I just explained class you is said, one. Yeah, class, class is, one. is one. Class is one. Yeah. Being a female in that in that period yeah. itself. Yeah. I'm assuming I'm not a female. I'm, I wasn't from that period, but yeah. I'm assuming it was much harder than 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 it is now. To what? Compared to now. To do what? You said it's much hard being a female. To to be in love with someone, and I get it. Okay, you get what I'm I understand saying? what your point. Yeah, because like you can't choose your um husband or wife back in those days as freely as you can yeah. now. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, I understand that. I think, I think maybe that's what they were trying to put is that the time period itself mm-hmm. played a factor in why they couldn't be together and why she had okay, to go I'll, find herself. Okay, I'll, I'll allow her to... I'll allow her. I'll, in the script, mm. okay, I'm the writer, yes? Mm. All right, I'll fix it. I'll fix it for... I'll, I'll allow her to be with the person that she wants to be and be her true self. She chooses to be with Chukis Berry not because uh he's rich or he's a lord but because he was for women's rights and he actually made a difference mm. so therefore she was with him and she continued to be a detective case closed 
So why don't you write the script? Because I hate Enola Holmes. <laughs> really? I don't think you hate her. No, I don't hate her. I don't hate her. I think, look, to be fair, it wasn't a... Gr- I, I, I think I said it last week. Yes, it was. I didn't say, I didn't say it was a great movie. No, no, but that's... A, that's a, I love, I didn't I love say the fact was... that you brought this up on, on Movie Burrito Podcast because it's not a movie that we love and we gush about all the time. Exactly. Yeah. I think I like it more than you do. But of course. I do, it's not something that I'm sitting here like, this is probably one of the best movies Netflix has mm-hmm. produced. You know of what course I'm not. Of course, I, I but never claimed that. But yeah. I think it's 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 sort of better than like what your what your like your what? opinion on it. Mm-hmm. I think it's better than that. You know what I mean? Like okay. I think it's a better movie. Right, I find explain. that I find that more. I don't find that mediocre. Okay. You find that like a meh movie, yeah. A meh movie, yeah. yeah. Forgettable. Okay, yeah. Mm. I found that more of a... It's a good movie mm. that maybe in a couple of years... It was fun. Exactly, it was fun. It was fun. Maybe in a couple of years, I'll, I'll re-watch it again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, what about my uh, points about... Um, I didn't say your points are valid. No, no, no. I'm saying... I'm like, saying I, 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 want, I want to bring this up to yeah, you yeah. And, and see if my points are valid, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. The mummy issues, hundred percent. I agree. <laughs> the mummy is the worst character. She's a she's a bloody villain. That's not a that's not a um, responsible mother. <laughs> child uh, child affairs docs needs yeah. to come and take that child away <laughs> and put it somewhere new, bro. And 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 the Centrelink whole thing- need to stop their payments to her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You you tell Centrelink. Yeah, Centrelink, yeah. stop giving our money to <laughs> to, to people to, that are leaving to their mother kids. homes. Bro, she's just leaving that kid lying around. Yeah, I home. have to do this for my son. Ugh, give me a break. See that I found very selfish. Why? I didn't. F- you're a mother. What do you mean? You're- oh wait, wait. You're I mean, a like, you yeah, can't you can't yeah. up and leave. Exactly. You can't up and leave and be like exactly. like when I was watching, I was like, she just up and left. Yep. I'm like. I have a joke here, but I'm not going to really kill you. <laughs> you know what joke I'm going for? <laughs> I've, got, I've got a joke, but like, I'm not doing it That's live. That's right, we'll, 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 we'll find do that it, out We'll later. do it later. Uh, yeah. You can't up and leave your, your kid yep. and be like, hey, I, I, I'm doing this for you, but also I'm leaving you in I've, I've trained you, I've trained you, not mothered you, yeah. I've trained you for 17 years, what, 17, 16 years, whatever, however how child 17, she is. 17, 16. 17 years. Um, so you just live by yourself, uh, do what you got to do. Also, I'm going to put a um, overprotective uh, brother as a ward over you yeah. who will basically no, she, take your rights put, away. Yeah, she, she did. Yeah, she, she did. She put him as ward. I, yeah. I, I remember he said, I'll be the ward, you look for her mother. No, no, no. She put him as ward. Are you sure? Yep. I didn't, I, I didn't find that in the movie. I didn't realize that in the movie. I don't know. Anyway, I may be wrong. Anyway, anyway, that's not the point. Mm-hmm. The point is... The mother who, is terrible. Who leaves their mother? Who leaves their child, uh, 17 years old, to fend for themselves in a house? Mm. Um, and in the streets of London, especially London during that time, you had Jack the Ripper going around. That's right. Um, who else did you have going around? Um, I don't know any other serial killer during that time <laughs> except for Jack the Ripper. Well, Jack the Ripper was famous as the, like one of the first serial killers. And he was never found. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that, that, If you want to be a serial killer, mm-hmm. you want to be Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Yeah. No one knows your identity? <laughs> Stale. Is Zodiac, was Zodiac Killer a... Uh, what? Was he a serial killer? Like, was that based yeah. on real? Well, yeah, Zodiac Killer was in San Francisco in 1968. Ah, did they ever find him? No. Till now. Well, I think Jack the Ripper and Zodiac Killer... Will be best of friends. Are maybe the same person. A hundred years apart? You're right. Ti- <laughs> There's a time machine somewhere <laughs> and we got to find it. Yeah, like I was saying, the yeah. mother is is terrible. Uh-huh. It's the, I don't know what they were doing, uh-huh. but that is not like if they were right. If 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 they wrote that in the script, that's not. That's, of course, they wrote that in the script. That's not normal, man. Yeah, man. Like I don't know. Like I find Hollywood just 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 so s- silly. What I liked about your step, one of the things you said towards the end was mm-hmm. Hollywood needs to stop lecturing um, us. lecturing us about how to treat women or anything to do with women rights and freedom yep and uh, focus on themselves yep because Because we've had a lot of Me Too movement the Me Too movement came out and we had a lot a lot of actresses and people come out talking about how their right how their rights were not respected Mm -hmm. um, see in the movies in, in life this is like it's not just Hollywood it's people 
it's people who think that like like they they scream and shout and they yell uh me 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 mm-hmm. but when it comes to actions uh i'll do it later mm. you know what i mean like it suffers like from our community it's the same thing man they, they say they say they talk they do all this stuff everyone everyone can talk to talk but cannot do the no not walk the walk no they think it's brave they think it's brave for a woman to get up on stage in front of an award ceremony with uh, the audience being the all of them agree with your point right to say uh i don't like trump yeah and then oh she's so brave she's mm. so brave for saying that okay she just said she doesn't like someone or she just made a comment against someone mm. how's she brave she said it to a bunch of people who agree with her oh, i don't like trump either you need to say, but I- i'm just gonna say like like if you want to make a difference please stop talking do something do. i think that's the i think mm. that is 100 percent correct honestly mm-hmm. i actually do mm-hmm. uh, there are a lot of movies that inspire mm-hmm. um and Ola Holmes could be one for, for some female, for be. young females out there. But there's a lot of movies Hollywoods will do that will inspire people to think, mm-hmm. to talk, but not to do. Yeah. And that's how it's, it will always be. And if you want to if you wanna make real change, you need to start doing something. Yeah. Like, it's okay to fire, for example, it's okay to fire Harvey Weinstein. You know what I mean? And imprison him. Mm-hmm. Okay. But there are so many people that you may know, mm-hmm. right, that are doing what he does or are doing what like Bill Cosby was doing or whatever in, in certain uh, uh, shady situations that are covered up for. Yep. And you can't really push a, an agenda if you're not doing something about that agenda itself. Like it's okay and fine. It's, it's great to make a movie about it. But if you're not going there and actually mm, trying to make a change on the le- on, on the it, ground, yeah, working, then there's a reason why Malcolm X hasn't been forgotten because he was he put his life on the line, he put his family 100%. on the line, he killed, he got himself killed fighting for something that people take for granted today, bloody shouting in in streets and doing just stupid things. It's like, uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, uh, you're looting. You're looting? Like, what? You, what's, what's going on? What's the point of looting? What's the point of looting? Look at the other people who are actually out there making a difference. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ta- take a turn on this. Go on. on movies. Go on. And I just want to, I don't know, I, this has always been in my head. And since you brought it up, talking about protesting and stuff. Go on. And we're not, we're not disre- disregarding no, no, the protest for, itself. I'm all for uh, protesting. Where you you were talking about the looting aspect of the Yeah, the looting is, is can, just people taking doesn't advantage. doesn't lead to, but what people... Take, people take advantage of take the protest. Take advantage of the scenario. And then they go looting, stealing some stuff, right? Yeah. Shout out to whoever stole my shoes this morning anyway. Well. I just had to put it out there. <laughs> I'm, honestly, someone Are stole my serious? shoes this morning. I oh, came out, no. I was like, where's my shoes? And they stole it. But anyway, that's not the point. Um, this is probably going to sound controversial. No, that's fine. But uh, I don't... I, I understand what protest... I understand the idea and the point of a protest. Mm. But... I don't think protests are that um, influential and effective when trying to create change. Mm. I agree. What was the last protest that actually allowed for change? Now, I'm, I'm like, this is a legit, I'm not mocking it, I'm actually asking a question. What was the last protest that allowed, that encouraged change? People say civil rights movement, but I tend to disagree. No, civil rights movement, you can give them. You can give them. It, it allowed... It, it black did people, something, but it didn't ch- fix the problem as we see. The problem wasn't sorted, but the root of the issue wasn't fixed. Yep. But there were certain things that were done to allow for maybe later on the root of the problem can be fixed, right? Segregation was... They, they stopped segregation. Sure, sure. sure. Um, there was less less forms of open racism, I no, guess. No, it's just systemic racism. Do you know, there was there's certain things that happened that sure. you know civil rights movement uh, uh, helped improve. But in 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 all honesty, 
there's so many protests going on. Uh, the, 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 one of the earliest protests I can remember was during 2001, oh not 2001, was it 2001? They went to, they invaded Iraq for? 2003. Okay, so in 2003, when they quote unquote found uh, wars of mass destruction, uh, not oil, it no. wasn't oil. No. As uh, Dave Chappelle said, oil? Mm. Bitch, what are you talking about oil? <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't oil they were looking for. It was uh, weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. Uh, they were going to go invade. I know Australia, I know my, I remember my mum went. Australia, I think America and England. England went. They, they all went. And I think there was protests in all these, in a few, I think a few more countries. But I know in Australia there was protests um, to not go. Did the protests really work? No. They ended up but going. someone can argue that, like, yeah, it didn't work. That's one case. Okay. So what are you saying? There's, there's many. The, the, the Black Lives Matter movement, it's uh, all about, you know, giving rights to African Americans, to the blacks sure. in, the, in, the, in the community. But since the Black Lives Matter movement started, since it was founded by, I think it was the three women. Uh, I know they're women, but I can't remember if it was three or two mm. or more. Mm. Um, there are still African Americans out in America. Uh, sorry, there are still Black Americans that are being shot by police. Yeah, of course. Right. Mm. The, we. So the protests are increasing. Are they really changing anything? Are, are no. You police know doing anything? You Not know why? Really, no. You know why? I think I think these aren't protests. What they are, they in my in my opinion. Not all of them. I'm just saying that a lot of people have this idea that liberation, revolution, whatever you want to call it, um, is is basically an anarchist mentality. They just want to destroy the current system. They don't have a plan for a new one. They don't have any cause for 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 and any plan. And nothing nothing put on paper. No system. They just want to see the current one gone. Okay, if you want to, if you're unhappy with the current system you have, you need to be organized. You need to plan. That's what it is. You need to, that's why protests never work. That's why the French Revolution didn't work. The French because, Revolution did work. No, it didn't. Be, you know it, what happened? Even though, even though more the, people died. What I'm saying, I was actually going to use French Revolution as an example. The French Revolution was the biggest failure and it's propped up as one of the best things that happened why to do society. You, why do you think it was a failure? Didn't they get rid All of the... It got, it got a lot of people killed. That's what happened. It was the most bloodiest but revolution. To, but to be free, or I'm not saying free, but to, to, to rid evil. They introduced more evil. True. Do, do you not, did you not read about this? You're I, a historian. I know, I know. But what I'm saying is... You, they, they, they were organ. No, no, no. If you ask they any historian, organized. they were organized. Yes. No, never. They were. They had never. a leader. They this had is one what leader. Happened. What leader? Bonaparte. No, he wasn't a good leader. Le he ended up becoming a dictator. We Hold understand. Hold your horses. You, uh, please do not make this mistake. Napoleon Bonaparte was never a part of the revolution, ever. He was a colonel during the time. He was not a part of it. What? He Bonaparte fought against the, the 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 kings. The king. He what? He fought against. Maybe he had a few skirmishes. He was never on one side. That's the brilliance of Napoleon mm. Bonaparte. He knew how to play the game. All right. What I'm t saying, the, the, the French Revolution introduced more famine, more destruction to the economy, more, more influential ideas spreading to other European nations. It got a lot of people killed. There was blood all over the streets. The French Revolution was a massive fail. Here's where historians say that the French Revolution was significant. It introduced three new ideas, ideas to um, Europe which kings were afraid of. It was liberty, freedom, and uh, I think equality or something like that. Mm. We all know the French don't uh, uh, love, they don't even exhibit those uh, qualities. So I'm not going to even talk about that. Yes, French people, I am talking about you. Anyway, sorry, I'm just very fed up. Um, uh, these three equalities became the, the principles which the American Revolution was born from. Mm. That's it. That's all the French Revolution played a part of. That's why the Americans remember the French Revolution, because they introduced equality, f freedom, and liberation, whatever the hell that means. I don't know. I'm just speaking my mind. I'm, I'm just very, I get very angry with this subject, especially around the French. <laughs> I haven't looked into French, the French Revolution yeah. carefully like that. Yeah. 
to be honest. Yeah. I always thought he was he was a part of it, to be honest. Cause I haven't looked at it, mm. but I have read a bit about it. So that's why I always believe that he was part Because one of the most famed battles he had was the Battle of Waterloo. Waterloo against the English. That was against the English. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bad. Napoleonic Wars. Uh, England and Napoleon yeah, yeah, yeah. were going that was when he, That's when he did take uh, take over. My yeah. bad. I forgot. Yeah. That. My, my point was leading to, to this, right? Is one of the most recent things that happened in Australia was in terms of protests was the protest for Lebanon, right? Sure. When I think, when was it? Mm. Was it, it wasn't after the bombing. It wasn't after the bombing. You talk about the attack on the president? Yeah, was it attack? Was it the attack on the prison? I think it when was when they started protesting. Yeah, so they go and protest all over in Lebanon, right? Mm -hmm. And Australia has probably, apart from Brazil, um, probably has one of the largest populations of Lebanese people. Mm -hmm. It's got Can a we, substantial amount. It, of there them. is. Yep. Right. My 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 father and his he took his children there, who are of of, of Lebanese descent. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're protesting there. He asked me, he go, well, I was at his house, he goes, oh, he goes, what are you doing today? I said, I'm, I'm doing something, I don't know what I was doing. He said, oh, why don't you come with us to the protest? I said, protest for what? He said, for Lebanon. I go, what is it gonna do? It's not gonna change anything. Lebanon has, has the most corrupt form of government yes. in the world. Yes. You have three forms of government. A president who is uh, non-Muslim, mm -hmm. right? Then you have two prime ministers uh, uh, a Sunni one and a Shia one, mm -hmm. right? And none of these people work together to... You, it's not even about it. You have three forms of government. Yes. How are you going to unite your country when you have separate forms of government mm -hmm. for separate religious groups in your country? Yep. Your country is secular. We understand that. Mm -hmm. But three forms of government doesn't solve us uh, the problems in your country there's and a major you have, division in lebanon exactly there's major division and when you have three three forms of government you're going to have mm -hmm. constant division with the people as well and so when they come to protest it's, it's not going to do anything. it's not doing anything like they had a, their protest they were they were drumming in the streets Dr <laughs> Lebanon's are known to party. That's all I know about Lebanon. Yeah, yeah. They, they, we came to Australia. What did we bring with us? Shisha. Mm -hmm. Barbecues. Manoush. Proper barbecues, not the, those Aussie barbecues. <laughs> Proper barbecues. People know what Lebanese I'm talking cucumbers. about. Lebanese cucumbers. The Lebanese cucumbers, best cucumbers. Honestly, yeah, they, they are. are the best cucumbers. Yeah. Uh, and... And we taught people how to rot the the the, the, the Centrelink. Yep. We, we taught people how to rot the government. Mm -hmm. That's all we did. We learned it from our government. Yay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we did. So you want to go way, protest? <laughs> you want to go protest your 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 mother, the motherland, I guess, yeah. or the, the the main country? Mm. It doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't. It, yeah, like, yeah. I've never seen. I don't see protests. It's what like you said. You have to have a plan. A plan. There has to be a plan. There has to be organization. You can't have multiple, you know, everyone wants to be a leader, but you can't have that. Nope. You have to have one person who, who's, who can be entrusted to organize things, right? Spread a message that is one message, not multiple message, but one main message and push that forward. Mm. When you're able to do that, that's when train, change can arise. And that's what, that, to bring it back to Enola, because yeah, exactly. you got to wrap things up. Yeah. That's what pissed me off about Enola as well, is that what her mum had a bunch of explosives in a warehouse. Isn't that terrorism? Isn't that are terrorism? We, aren't we, what aren't are you we, trying to do? In the age of the 21st century, aren't we trying to yeah. condemn terrorism? I mean, if, if let's say like a white supremacist was trying to create change, and he had a bunch of explosives in a warehouse. Well, what would you call him? Well, a, a person did try to create change in New Zealand, and, uh, and he, look went, what and, happened he went and killed 52 people. Uh, it, it's just ridiculous, man. You know, yeah. I just realized, you I actually just realized that, because yep. I forgot about the bombs. Mm. That, that, that itself is, is encouraging the use Anarchist of- Anarchist views. And terrorist views, yeah. extreme yeah, views. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I agree with that. Your totally. extreme views, if your extreme views align with society's views, then you're able to take those actions. Yeah, yeah. How do you know that society are an extremists? 
you know society views, uh, mainstream societal views aren't extremist views. Exactly. How do you know? What anchor do you use? We we understand. Well, I understand That's the importance actually talking of about morals. But yeah. I understand the importance of the female. Like I understand what her mother was trying to do. It, there's mm. a, you understand she was what trying her mother, to create change. She's trying to create change. Allow allow women to to gain those rights mm. where they were treated as equals. Right. They weren't treated as equals to many years later. Mm. That's not the point. They were trying to be, but what you what what the movie was encouraging mm -hmm. was to take a extreme route to force those views down people's throat. Mm. And if they couldn't get with that program, and, and the then movie was here. trying to promote it as a just cause, exactly, which is totally wrong, in my opinion. But yeah. So if uh, uh, to summarize, to let, let's wrap up. Let's wrap How up. How many burritos do you give it? Oh, this burrito was pretty I think untasty. Gonna... I, I would say. So I would uh, give it uh, three burritos out of ten. Really? Yeah. Six burritos out of ten. Six? Oh, yeah, six. big, big, massive gap. Looks yeah. like uh, you're more hungrier than I am. <laughs> this is the first time we've had a big gap in our movie. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is pretty good. Uh, you know, this is actually this, this is actually good, yeah. a good like. Yeah, it shows the the, the, the our how our movie. The, the, uh, we have different opinions. Yeah, I like and that's totally what our fine. taste in movie, movies. Hundred percent, it can vary. Yeah, like right now, like you know, you get to know a new person, mm. and you want to get to know them, but like you find out that they have different tastes, and it's actually okay because yeah. you can talk about it and you can have fun. Trying to understand each other's views. That's what that's what I felt like. This podcast. I liked. I liked today's podcast. It was yeah. really insightful. Yeah, well, it offended every French person. <laughs> we offended every French <laughs> look, person. Look, look, let me we take. Offended, let me take back. Look, I was we, very emotional. I was we very offended emotional. everyone. Just let me. Just let me, yeah. let me. Let me. Um, clear the clear the room. I do not hate, dislike French people. Mm. I'm just very emotional at the time with what France has been. The the government of France has been doing. And, and I'll leave it at that. I think the French people are wonderful, artistic, um, intelligent people who have contributed to society. Their government I, is hypocritical. Their though. government is the most hypocritical filth of the of the earth. <laughs> well, that's my opinion. Um, and by the way, I love French m movies. Um, I wanted to suggest that you, you sound movie. like a racist. <laughs> um, uh, by the way, I love black people. <laughs> I, I, I love them. I love them. They love me. <laughs> I hate I hate all minorities. But my best friend is is uh, Asian. I got an Indian, another Indian one. No, I, my uh, best mate, he's black too. Hon honestly, honestly, on a serious yeah. note, I apologize to anyone who I, I think I think we need to uh, just put. We apologize for everyone and their views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're not. We weren't attacking them. No, we're not. But I'm just like I'm acting out of emotion. Yeah. So so please understand me. That's it. Whatever. Especially the protest stuff. I know people take, it's yeah. especially in today's society, I know people take protesting serious. We're not, we're not saying protests are bad. Yeah. All we're saying is, is that there needs to be. We a have clear different goal. opinions yeah. on how to achieve something. Exactly. Simple, simple, very simple. I, I think, don't think there's anything controversial about that. I think, I think, for for to create a healthy society, healthy conversations. We I think sit various, down and actually discuss yeah, things. Various opinions. It's okay to have various opinions. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, I want to. I didn't come prepared this week, but I know that there's a movie you wanted to see and you haven't seen it. Okay. Um, uh, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Okay, yeah. You haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Yet. So I I put it as one of my top movies. Easy. I I look. I was trying to look for a movie I didn't like. Um, to be honest. Um, but I, because I didn't come prepared, but I want you to see something new. Yeah, no, no. I'll, so I'll Blade, Dr Blade Runner twenty forty nine is is the movie of next week. Crack off. And uh, I hope. Um, you guys can join us. And again, apology for me, for anyone I offended. But um, these are my opinions. So you can uh, Thank reject you. them. Thank you guys very much for uh, listening today. Uh, you can catch us next week. This and is uh, Rami signing out. And this is Mac signing away. Toodles. Toodles.